I mean, I, I have ADHD. I've only just sort of found it out in the last few years. But definitely one of the reasons why I left school when I was 15 was because, well, the main reason my father died in my first GCSE. The second reason was because I was very distracted, always. Like, clever, but distracted. And I could never, ever focus. And it, ex Explain what ADHD is and explain how you found out you had it. It's uh, attention deficit hyperactive disorder. Right. So it means that it's very... A lot of people have sort of really believed it's quite an Americanism. And, and, and it's because it was first sort of really i don't i can't actually don't know where it was first discovered but it, it was it's very much been poignant as part of like what was going on with with uh, the young in in the states and that people feel like it's flippantly thrown around um it basically means that you i mean i have all of the all of the the different afflictions of adhd as well and there's three main ones um one of them's hyperactive one of them's distracted and one of them is i can't remember what the third one is so there we go that's probably that's a classic adhd is it right but we'll, we'll google it quickly yeah, for you the yeah the three the three different types of adhd yeah um so uh i mean i i would uh, but part of that is sort of i i get really focused in on one thing I and mean, if i'm in if you've got my attention i can give you like 110 percent for one second, if, if I'm distracted, then you completely lose me. But I go like tunnel vision in, in a sort of completely distracted way as well. Um, I'm hyperactive. I'm always moving. Just shout out, Mark. Uh, inattentive type. Yep. Hyperactive impulsive type. Yep. Combination type. Okay, well, there we go. What's I, combination type? I don't know. Well, Not entirely sure. What? Yeah. I feel like there's a third one, but I don't know. Anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, I see combination of the both. So you, you're blending them too. <laughs> blending right, the okay. two. All right. Um, Anyway, so I'm, I'm like always on the go. Like I'm, I have no, I have boundless energy. And, um, and it's sort of like, you know, you really want to pin me down. You know, I, I, like I, I will literally spin around in circles. I'm like a cold spring. Um, so it's been but, really... But how do you find that? How do you find out that's ADHD and not just normal life? Because uh, clearly you think you're normal as you grow up, and then one day you go, "Oh, you never thought yeah. you were normal." <laughs> well, I don't know. Like I've always, I've always been uh, had. I've, I guess there's certain things, certain things that come with ADHD being um, impulsive. Like I have no, I don't have a second to consider um, things. I mean, I, I've, I can get quite angry. This is quite a classic chef thing. I can get really, really angry, and I don't know that I've done it until it's too late. Right. So um, you know. At school, I would be one of those little dickheads who would fight all right. the time. And um, as I've got older, I definitely, it's definitely affected relationships, you know, and with family and boyfriends and friendships, you know, I have, you know, I don't fight anymore because I'm an adult and I know how to stop that, but I, I can be as Larry. Um, and, you know, that's the sort of bad side. The other side is the fact that, you know, you can get up and, get loads of stuff done but if you're impulsive is that dangerous like on a night yeah, out yeah it can be it can be dangerous is it, <laughs> i don't so, think i'm like interesting you wake up the next day thinking oh i've done that again no actually not on a night out i'm quite a good drunk and i'm quite i'm quite fun like that i don't i think i'm not the liability mate i don't think but i have a lot of you know you can be talking to me and you'll lose you'll lose me in or i'll suddenly be in the middle of working really hard on something i'll get up and i'll walk off and i'll start doing something else right. you know there's low. I mean, there's too many things to explain. It's just. So, so when was the bit where you? Because you said recently you found mm. out you had it. When was the bit where you went? I've got it. Did you go to see someone or? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've I've had um, my father was we we believe because while he was never officially diagnosed, we still have the same family doctor. Um, we believe he had uh, either like BPD or um, borderline um, bipolar. And my sister and I have both been medicated for um, a, an acute biological anxiety, which means that it's not a cognitive idea. It's something that we have based on what goes on. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not circumstantial, our anxiety. It is actually, we don't produce serotonin and dopamine in the same way that other people. It's actually, um, so we have to be medicated. Um, and we've, I've been medicated for the last sort of 13, 14 years. Really? Um, and it's brilliant. It's the best thing I ever did. And because of that, mostly I'm fine. Um, but there was still something that was, you know, the anger is still there or the, or the impulsiveness is still there or the, you know, the inability to actually get, f follow through with certain projects, even though I'd be giving it 110% at that moment, I could walk away and then suddenly lose complete mm. attention and, or, or a bit or want to even finish it, you know, even though I'd invested like months into doing it, you know, um, so 
Uh, yeah, and I just, I guess, like, I've been to, God, this is quite deep, but I've been to anger management, like, three times, and it, just nothing was working. And uh, we've, always, we've always joked, because I am, I've had this boundless energy and bounce all over the place the whole time, and that I, I have ADHD. It's always just been a running joke. Yeah, it's one of those things people yeah. just go, hey, you've got ADHD, yeah. and everyone. And then I thought, maybe I should actually go and get it checked out. And I, actually, I thought I might have bipolar, but it turned out I didn't, and I have ADHD. If, if you've got someone out there who suffers from depression, anxiety, mm. ADHD. We've got a lot of listeners who listen yeah. to this because who, who, I do a lot on this sort of stuff. And what advice would you have for them at the moment? I don't know. I mean, I think you've got to like have a confidence in yourself. Like, no, if, I mean, I see, I've never really had real depression. I've had uh, like unbelievable sadness, but depression is a really tricky one for me. I find that really hard to advise on. But um, with, I guess you've just got to just know yourself. And if something feels wrong, you know, go and get it figured out. I do think you need to find some rational in-between bit between real medicine and something a bit more naturopathic, yeah. you know, and look at and see, you know, look at what you can be doing for yourself naturally that can help, but also do take medical advice because it's yeah, important. I mean, therapy doesn't work for me, for example, because it is a, it isn't a cognitive problem. Right. It's a biological one. So I've had loads of therapy and I have a real practical brain like I I can put things to bed quite easily in my head it's like right um um whereas you know it, I don't know like I, but I I I don't know I think I think there are a lot of people who um you know I've got this weird sociopathic side of me I think that I don't feel jealousy like I don't ever doesn't penetrate me I could you know I have a practical side that if I if I have a boyfriend that was in front of me seeing another girl, I'd be like, right, that's really not okay. But I don't walk away and really? think, you know, when I'm not with someone, feel jealous. I don't know, it's really weird. You'd be a great Love Island contestant. Yeah. Talk about being part of, part of a scene. Were you, you said you were 15 when you started learning yeah. this. Were you, were, you, were you one of those girls who was out at 15, 16, clubbing? And oh my God, 13, I'm a Londoner. 13. I'm from Paddington. And uh, yeah, I used to go, I was in the Astoria at rock scene, like 13, 14 years old, slime light by, 15 and yeah then all of the big sort of psychobilly clubs and stuff after that um going yeah so i yeah i was a little nightmare so you were into the sort of psychobilly uh i was punk really to be, we, i was into metal then got into punk like proper sort of street punk I used to hang around the eros um you know drinking uh super tea which was always classy at 14 really nice right um and then and then actually um my best friend uh, got pregnant with my godson, and uh, I think like all these psychobilly guys uh, ended up like scooping us up and stealing us away at that stage because a lot of the street punks were total nightmares. <laughs> so uh, and then after that, like these guys are still all my mates. 